Hello everyone, I am your produce guy. This is another in our series of winter squashes. Today we're talking about spaghetti squash. This one's a little bit different from some of the other winter squashes in that when we cook this up, the flesh inside is going to shred up into a string-like spaghetti. That's why they call it spaghetti squash, a string-like consistency, uh, which you can treat with uh, pasta sauce or any number of toppings, and it's wonderful. Now, you can cook this a number of different ways. You can bake it in the oven. In fact, you can bake it whole, just poke some holes in it to release the pressure. You can microwave this guy. Same thing, poke some holes. You don't want this thing blowing up on you. It will explode if you're not careful. We're going to do it today, though, maybe the easiest way of all, and that is we're going to boil it. Whole, we don't even have to poke holes in it with the boiling method. I'm going to put this on. I've got a pot of boiling water on behind me. We're going to throw it in there and see what happens. Now when I say throw it in a pot of boiling water, I mean gently place it in there. I measured the water with the squash in the pot beforehand, so I made sure I didn't have too much water because I don't want boiling water coming out all over me. But I'm just going to set that guy right in there, just like that, kind of floating away in there. We'll throw the lid on and give this, because it's a big squash, we're going to give this one about 30 minutes. You can cook it anywhere 20 to 30. The test will be if we can poke a, a fork into the flesh and it goes in easily, then it's done. So let's give this about 30 minutes. All right, this, this big old squash, I left him in there for a little bit more than 30 minutes. Boiled him up and drained him just like you would spaghetti. I put a colander in the sink and poured it out to get him out. And so now let's cut him open and see what we've got. The, uh, the fork you can see, just uh, so you can see there, fork tender right through the skin. I'm going to cut this in half here. There we go. Lengthwise, so that I can do the shredding on the long way. You can see already. Look at that. Woo, that's a hot one. You can see that the squash has already begun to um, fall into those strings or the spaghetti-like quality there. Now, we didn't have any work to start with this, uh, this out with. We've got some work now. I've got to go ahead and scrape out the uh, what seeds are in here, and then we're going to shred into the bowl the spaghetti squash itself. I've gone ahead and uh, gently scraped out the seeds with a spoon. That went uh, real quick and easy. Now, let's do the shred with a fork and just long ways on this guy. And look at that. Here it comes. Look at those strings, just like a pasta, only no white flour, all vegetable. This is going to fill this bowl, this, this uh, squash here, scraping right down to the skin of that squash. Look at that. Now, as I mentioned, you can put pasta sauce over this. And in fact, I have a delicious marinara sauce recipe using fresh ingredients, which I'm going to video for you. And we'll put that up so you can pair these two together. But just for today, I'm uh, just going to put a little bit of salt. I've already melted a pat of butter on there. A little bit of pepper. And let's see what we've got. Oh, simple, delicious, butter, salt, and pepper. That's all it needs. Wonderful winter squash. Again, this is another in our series of winter squashes. Check for the others that are coming out. We will see you soon. Remember to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you being there. And as always, I want you to remember that fresh is best.